Hey guys, this is Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot for episode 18 of Spilling hey, the hey, Tea hey. with Carly and me. With Carly from Lilith's Window Tarot. How you doing tonight, Carly? I am doing fabulous. I'm super excited. I cannot believe it's been 18 weeks. 18 freaking weeks. 18. 18 I, episodes. That is insanity. It's it crazy. It just feels like we started doing this, what, like yesterday or something? Yeah. So weird. It does. Yeah. It really, it really does. Okay, so are we ready <laughs> to get into this and see what's coming up for everybody? Let's do it. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, give me some clarity and guidance for Aries. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Okay, so you got the Hermit, you got the uh, the Hierophant, and you got the Star. Okay, so uh, Aries, you got four major arcana. Phew! Four major arcana right now. So if this is about you understanding and getting some clarity, taking the time to he about healing a relationship. So you are really doing some soul searching, trying to rest and and to see something from a different perspective about a relationship healing. Okay, so let's see why. What's going on? Well, Queen of War. There you are, week. Aries. Ah, uh, I can't remember, honey. I read so much. <laughs> I know. I I just. <laughs> I feel like yeah, I, I yeah. can't remember. People will ask me that, and I I just half the time I can't know. I read so much, it's ridiculous. Okay, so you're getting clarity. This is you. This is your energy, Aries, right out the gate. You're showing up in your reading. This is you getting that clarity. Could be about an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, a relationship with this person. And I feel like moving something forward, moving it forward. But you've been trying to move this forward for a long time. I feel like you got the the cars in the shop is what I feel like. The cars in the shop and you got to replace the whole motor or something. Because this is what, you know, when you've been trying to move forward for a long time, it's like there's something broken there that has to be, that has to heal, that has to fix. Okay. So there's going to be emotional communication with this soulmate. Um, and I feel like it's going to be transformed because of divine timing. I don't feel like that's an ending because they're saying be patient to transform. Boy, the major arcana in this reading is crazy because out of these out of these 13 cards that I pulled, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are major arcana. So this is something uh, this is a big deal for you. Aries, I feel like this is about you fixing and repairing this relationship. I don't see anything negative here. I just see this, both of you may be doing some deep soul searching, trying to fix, trying to fix this. That's what I feel like. I definitely feel like whatever this is, it's a soulmate connection, a deep soulmate connection with that lover's card. So I'm going to tell you right now, Aries, um, if you've been avoiding something, like literally just sitting on your couch watching TV because you don't want to deal with it, the universe is coming in hot. That couch is going to explode, and they're yeah. going to push. They're going to with push. that many major arcana, it is something that is being divinely guided, yeah. definitely. Oh, look. So we have, the, we have the Knight of Swords, so something coming in swiftly, or you pursuing something, King of Coins. I'm telling you, I feel like this is similar to last week's. So if somebody's coming in hot, or you're going towards them hot, okay, this is the person th that you're dealing with. That's not you. Um, you've been stuck on, you, you've freed yourself from being complete, completely stuck and involved with this person, but it still hurts. Whatever's going on, it still hurts. Um, you want, you want something balanced. You don't want to be breadcrumbed. You know, when what's frustrating about this card is it, it is a minor arcana for justice, but I don't like that he's holding it because when somebody else is holding those scales, they're never, you know, it's never going to be in your favor. I mean, they're they're controlling the, you know, the balance. Yeah. So I think you may have some incoming discussions about something that hurt you with a person you want to be with that may have been, you know, going back and forth or or whatever, playing mind games with you. Um, and so you've kind of slowly moved away from that person. Yeah. And ended that ended that cycle. And now you can be. I feel like you're gonna. This person is going to be your two of cups, whoever this king of coin is. Yeah, and there's the freaking hermit. Didn't you have that? Yeah, 
getting that clarity about this. Yeah, it's being, I mean, you're going to be shown why you had to go through some of the things that, you know, some of the things that you had to go through, they're going to show you. So you're going to get communication about someone who's held on to their happiness, which is you. Um, and you're going to have some healing and they're going to speak the truth to you or you're going to speak the truth to them, both, either, whatever. Asking for strength after being hurt, assessing your path, but starting a new cycle, um, getting that 10 of cups and that justice with your person. So this is all played out for a reason. And I feel your pain, Aries, because it totally just sucks. I yeah. feel your pain. So, hey, guys, if you're an Aries and you watched this uh, last week, let me know if that is similar in the co in the comments section, because I really feel like it was. OK, but guys, I could, I could be wrong. Doesn't happen often, but it happens <laughs> Some, sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see. Um, OK, so uh, Taurus, what do we have coming in for Taurus, please? What is coming towards Taurus, please? What do we have for Taurus? Okay, Empress energy right out of the gate. You're making a head over heart decision to cut something out to move on. Emperor energy moving towards your emperor. I feel like taking that leap of faith towards the emperor. You're making the decision to take that leap of faith towards the emperor. Now, you know, you can't make that up. Okay, when you get the emperor and the energy, the emperor and the empress within four cards. And three major arcanas out of four here. There's a lot happening right now. There is There's a, lot, a happening. lot happening for a reason. You guys have to look around, pay attention. There's everything's happening the way it's meant to happen when it's meant to happen. That's for absolute sure. There's a new passionate beginning here. Okay. Someone's seeing something from the past. They're looking back. And, and they're being patient because of something that was very toxic. Looking back at the mistakes that were toxic. Uh, could have had to do with a sexual relationship. Someone's mastered their emotions and they're manifesting, they're manifesting their, their true person. So with this King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Taurus, this is just representing you both up in your, in, in your, you're both in your emotion about this Those situation. Feel. Yeah, you're in your feelings. Yeah, most definitely in your feelings. You're manifesting those feelings because I feel like somebody's looking back at the mistakes and that they've made. And, and now I feel like it's a very emotional time for you uh, and your person. You're manifesting this partnership. There's, there's a true match here. Um, somebody from the past, a past life soulmate, because there was an ending of something. So something's something new can begin. So you've come full circle. You've come yeah, you full have. circle in this situation <laughs> under the bottom of the deck. There's justice. So this could be a karmic justice here, right here. Karmic justice. So, you know, everything's happening in divine timing. Holding on to that love, holding on to that love, wanting to offer that love in a new beginning, being patient, being patient. I feel like, I feel like blocking or overcoming obstacles very, very guarded i feel like oh i feel like what this is is you are with the seven of wands you are defending you are defending and guarding this relationship now you're fighting for this that's what i'm getting out of this this is normally not what this means to me but for some reason they're saying that you're protecting you're guarding and protecting you're being patient you're guarding and protecting so that you can move this forward so, mm. wow, great energy. I know, there. I was just going to say that. Wow. I feel like with there is a lot going on um, in the universe. I mean, we've got some planetary placements that are kind of crazy. What is it? Uranus is in retrograde for how long? I mean, it's like we've got a whole bunch yes, of stuff our, our, going our on. Yes, our ass has been in, in retrograde for a while. <laughs> right? <laughs> I feel like it's retrograde every day. Mm-hmm. Yes, your anus has been. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I, I'm no. sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. you know what? Hey, I'll try. I'll try anything once or three times to make sure I don't like it. But I'm just saying. That's bad. That was really bad. All right, bad. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Moving on, Taurus, with the Eight of Wands, moving past those regrets from the past with that Five of Cups. 
So you're moving forward, um, leaving those behind. Those are no longer going to be in your energy because of justice. It's weird because I feel like you had that card. Yeah, Barb. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. It's did. almost like we're psychic. We are. Yeah, a new, a new beginning in truth because you're moving past this regret. I feel like you've expressed this to a person like several times. Maybe they didn't hear you. They weren't ready to hear you, um, but they felt the same way. They had some regrets. Otherwise, we wouldn't have this justice here. Okay, so we've yeah. got some karmic balance going on and an tr epiphany, tr truth. Um, the Ace of Swords in a relationship reading is always good because it means it's going to cut through the BS and yeah. you're going to get to the truth and that there's not going to be any any stopping it. There's no way to, to, to contend with that, okay? Getting a wish fulfilled. Um, and you may also even be celebrating, I feel like after after the heavy burdens so whatever is going on um you know with this with the five of cups here and the ten of wands here um one above the other i feel like this was a really intense feeling for you um and i feel like you hung out there for a while like you've been you've been feeling that sadness you're moving forward for your happiness though and the universe is stepping in with this justice and this Ace of Swords, when you put the Justice card next to the Eight of Swords, this is going to be a whole lot of nothing but, you know, truth. Truth. Truth, it's, yes. It's just, that's all that's going to be. Oh, and we got the star come out. Card of Aquarius. Right underneath that Justice. So healing and getting a wish. Getting back into alignment with your, you know, with your divine path. Closing out a cycle with this death. Nobody's dying. Nobody's dying. I promise. Bottom of the deck. Could be with a queen of wands. You have to make a choice. Maybe there was a karmic involved, a kar karmic partnership. But now your your ships are coming in. Um, and the choices that you make are going to level you up, this Empress energy. So I mm -hmm. like that for you guys. I feel like I feel like this is um, kind of explains for you why you went through all the struggles that you went through like this this five of cups and ten of wands that's a lot that's a lot of burden that's a lot of sadness it's a lot of change it's just a lot but i feel like this will give you some clarity so let me know in the comments below yes definitely definitely because i feel like that's there's change coming there's definitely fighting for a situation to protect it so right. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Gemini. What does Gemini. Gemini need to know? What do they need to know right now here in the here and now? What does Gemini need to know? Okay, so there's a harsh truth. Um, someone may be The harsh truth is someone may be guarded and guarded and defensive about reconciling. Um, they may be holding back. They may be holding back because of a passionate new beginning. So let's see what, why, what's the harsh truth? Someone sees something from a different perspective about what was hidden. So the harsh truth is they see it, they understand it, and they're trying to understand it from a different mindset, but there was something hidden that's going to end. and whatever somebody was hiding there it's ending they're very guarded uh, divine timings at play here but someone's very up in their head still about their happiness so feeling stuck up in their head about wanting their happiness wanting wanting to fix something wanting to reconcile being at a crossroads about reconciling wanting to rush towards somebody um and win they want to rush in and win this person who's stuck up in their head about their happiness wants to rush towards you and wants to win in this situation but you may be holding back or holding on to a passionate beginning with somebody else so let's see why so you may be holding back because you feel like they offered their love to somebody else i feel like you're holding back um no this that's not what this is okay jim and i got a lot of cards <laughs> yeah, you have you you're holding on to this person. You're holding on to that passionate new beginning. I feel like whatever it was over here ended. Whatever this was what that was being hidden has ended. And this person's going to spill the beans. They're coming clean. They're they're very guarded and up in their head about their happiness. 
wanting to reconciling, making that decision to rush towards you. But I feel like you could be holding on or holding back from this passionate beginning. But this person's still going to come in and offer their love to you and to get that victory. This person's not willing to to back down. I don't feel like I feel, because you're their pre empress. OK, so right. this person, if you're holding back from a new passionate beginning, this person's coming in to offer that love and they will have a victory because of that. They're not going to let you go. They're not. They're ready to fight. Listen, what's under the bottom of the deck. They want to move forward to your to their soulmate. And I feel like guarded and you may be guarded and defensive. This person may be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I feel like you're kind of guarded and defensive where this person is. You've got to make a decision out in the cold. This is your emperor. This is your emperor. This person is your emperor, and you are the pre empress. And I feel like you could be Gemini dealing with a Cancer. I'm just, I don't know why. I, I, I King you need of Cups, another but, deck. <laughs> huh? Do you need another deck? Probably, all, probably for all those cars. You know, they just keep coming out, so they keep talking to me. I know. Uh, trust me, I know. I know. All right, Jamini. Woo! Knight of Wands got some passionate communication, or somebody coming towards you, feeling very passionate. Coming in quick though. This is not, this is not slow moving energy. The only the only knight that's faster is the Knight of Swords, but the Knight of Wands comes in. He brings the heat. He brings the A game every time. B D E. All right. We... Feeling passionate about an ending or a betrayal um, or something that just held you, kept you held down. Um, I want to say tyrant. I don't know why. Um, but you're reassessing, reevaluating with the seven of coins there, thinking about your future, thinking about that two of cups. This knight that's coming in, whether this is you or your person, is your two of cups, okay? There may have been something painful that happened between the two of you. Um, and you're finally willing to, I feel like, finally willing to look at things. Finally willing to maybe even discuss things. Well, you haven't decided it yet. You're talking it over with your dog there, see? So, and dogs really are the best best advice you can get. But it's in regards to this nine of wands that's coming in being your two of cups. Okay. Oh, King of Wands. Oof. Yeah. I feel like this knight is leveling up to a king real quick. Um, because he brought his A game, right? And he this is if this is your person. Yeah, look at that. Reassessing something toxic. This is this is the reading of a of a relationship that you may have not even talked to this person for a while, but it was a very like deep intense connection um that probably ended and i almost feel like you were having you or your person kind of went to, went into this cycle of you know the devil energy which is like partying or addiction or obsession or whatever is whatever you're doing that's that's toxic to you it could be literally anything anything it could be anything I mean, this could be over exercising even. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. It's something that you that you are doing to fill the hole from this relationship. But now you're willing to look at the past. Yeah, seven of cups and seven of coins. So I feel like you have a lot of options here with this. Uh, if you're the BDE, that's, that's you. You've got all kinds of options. You've got people coming at you left and right, but you're, I feel like they're passing that up for their person, which is you. That's what I feel like. That's a toxic, op that's a toxic option or that also is a toxic illusion. With that could seven be. of cups next to the devil, it could be magic being done. It could be just a toxic, a toxic option. It could be, uh, you know, I almost of... feel like it, I almost feel like it was, you know, Going out, or yeah. Even maybe not even drinking or anything, but doing things instead of working on this shit. Sorry, yeah. doing things instead of working on this. I mean, you were doing everything you possibly could, <laughs> and now you're not, or they're not, whatever. Um, she has a bird, but it's just a white one. But she's wearing a white dress, so I guess it matches. <laughs> so it always matches the dress. It yeah. does. <laughs> So manifesting happiness 
and a wish fulfillment. Um, really, if somebody's drinking, I don't know who, I don't know who's drinking. Um, but you've been needing to work on this for a long time. And now you're finally, you're finally, you're finally starting to do that, right? You're moving past things, communicating emotionally, woo, leveling up there. Look at that. From, you guys are having a discussion about all this, all this betrayal, all this, all this Ten of Swords, all these mind games. Yeah, you guys are going to have a discussion and the universe is going to come in and balance it out. There's going to be justice. Bottom of the deck, the high priestess. Yeah, you guys aren't talking, looking at things from a different perspective um, and holding back, not giving. I feel like you're trying to outrun it, but you're not going to outrun that chariot. It's not going to happen. So your person is coming in. OK, your person is coming in and it almost I feel like makes you sick a little bit because because this hurts so bad. You know, when you have when you have, you know, the the Ten of Swords, it almost is like you just can't hardly even talk about it. And so you spend a lot of time distracting yourself from that. But this person is coming in and they belong to you and you belong to them. So take take with it what you will. Take with it what you will. Okay. Okay. So cancer, what is going on with cancer? What do we have for the Cancerians, the water gang? Every time you okay. say that, it reminds me that I need to call my dermatologist. Cancer. <laughs> okay. So I feel like uh, somebody is getting clarity. Could be dealing with a Virgo because you have the hermit here. Um, I feel like to move on, getting clarity to move forward to an ace of cups so someone's at a crossroads um actually they're watching they're watching page of swords page of swords is somebody who is either gathering information uh truthful conversation or they've got their eye on you and they've got to make a decision so someone's gone within the light's been shed on something they're seeing the clarity that they need and they're, they've got to make a decision this is about them moving forward, going from rough waters to calm waters to move something forward with somebody from their past, a past life soulmate, okay? King of Wands. This is the emperor in a lower vibration for me as a reader. And I feel like, or it could be an Aries Leo Sag, um, but what was hidden? So I feel like someone's trying to get past, move forward with somebody from the past, King of Wands. Now, King of Wands, what's the secret here for this King of Wands? What's the secret? What is the secret? What is the secret? I feel like he has very strong emotions for you. So this is about this person's strong emotions because the moon card isn't just about secrets and illusions. It's also about emotion, right? Strong emotions, needing strength because there's strong emotion. Um, under the bottom of the deck, there you are, Cancer. He has strong emotion for you. He wants to speak the truth. He wants to move it forward to a relationship. Let's get this Ace of Cups. What's going on with the Ace of Cups here? So this is the 1111. This is a new beginning in love in, in this, this connection, love connection here, where they want to heal this under the bottom of the deck, holding back because they're kind of anxious. They're very up in their head wanting to communicate. But somebody had played mind games with you, Cancer. Somebody was wanting to win at all costs. They played mind games and now they have to wait because of an ex, a queen of pentacles, an ex-wife, an ex-girlfriend. It could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. I said that you may have been dealing with a Virgo um, because they need to speak their truth. They need to speak the truth. And there he shows up right there. He's an emperor going to apologize and trying to have a victory for a long time. There you go. Oi. Oi is right. Oi. All righty. Justice coming in. Nothing you can do about it. Karmic balance. High priestess. Don't You don't see it coming. Whatever this is, it's, it's like you can't see it. You can't touch it. You know in your gut that it's coming. But you, but there, yeah, you're having a lot of anxiety about this. So whatever is going to be, whatever is going to come around, come back around, you know how it's going to affect you or your person does. Now, I we don't judge here. We don't judge. So if if somebody did you dirty or you did somebody else dirty, which every single person has been the bad guy in a relationship before, that's just the way it is. 
you don't see it coming, but you do have a lot of anxiety because you feel it in your gut. And it's, the universe has been working on it for a long time with this Knight of Coins here. Um, you're going to have to make a choice. Ooh, that's similar. Look at that. We have those pillars. I, I didn't notice that in this deck. Yeah. Oh, these pillars. Anyway, so you are going to have to make a choice. And you you already know this. This is something you already know or something your person already knows um, about your value and your worth and about your past and things that have gone on in the past, kind of reassessing, um, taking inventory in your past um, because you want to move forward. You want to be able to move past this nine of swords. I feel like this is a situation you know is coming, even though you can't see it. And you just want to get through it. Like you literally, you just want to get through it. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting with this three of wands, waiting for your ships to come in. Doesn't always necessarily mean, you know, they're beautiful ships. Sometimes you get that pirate ship and that's not the, not the best deal, but, you, but it's coming in, it's coming towards you. Your past, your, your decisions from the past, whatever is they're coming towards you. Yeah. Look at that. The wheel of fortune. That's, I feel like that's so much similar to this this card for whatever reason. But this is the universe coming in. You don't want to have to deal with this, but you know you're going to have to. But you've got to clear that that energy because here we have an emperor. Yeah. Who misses you. We have an emperor who misses you. Sometimes for me, this is my I love you so much I almost died. I miss you so much I almost died card. Um, And if you want to have that emperor energy, you want that emperor to come in towards you, you have to deal with it. You have to deal with whether it was a third party or just your happiness in general. You have, in order to bring this back, you've got to move forward, move through it because your person, oh, this can be a card of reconciliation too. I love this card. Um, this is happening for a reason. This is divinely guided. So whatever you got going on, yeah, a new cycle. Um, information coming in quickly with the page of swords and you know, it's coming. You've kind of been on this journey for a while, but here's your empress who now has found, you know, has seen the light, but yeah, the, the emperor is in here too. So I, all I'm saying for you guys is that whatever you've gone through that hurt so bad or, hurt, or your person hurt so bad, it happened for a reason. You're going to have to face whatever you've done, or your person is going to have to face whatever they've done. Cause that's what the universe does. That's what they do. Like, okay, so now I'm never going to get out of my head that you said that the three of wands has a, maybe a pirate ship. <laughs> Well, j listen, though, <laughs> just because your ships are coming in doesn't mean they're all good. I mean, whatever is coming I know, towards you. Is, I hope he doesn't have a patch over his eye and, and a peg leg. <laughs> Arr, matey. Well, yeah, I'm just saying, you know, the things that that belong to us are not always good. That's just life. Oh, That's just the way it is. God. That was the best one I've heard in a long time, Carly. I'm never going to look at that three of ones in the same way again. So, okay. So, Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides. Lord, Mar, pull yourself together. <laughs> Give me some clarity and guidance for Leo, please. What does Leo need to know? I wish we lived closer. Uh, I'm telling you, dear. Okay. So, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, what's up for Leo? What's up for you Leo? Got, well, you, got, you got that you got that phallic coming in right there. Arrgh. Hot yeah. flamey. That's a hot flamey Cheeto right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I feel like um you're hot needing flaming to... Cheeto. Do you have any idea how much pain that would actually cause? <laughs> Okay, so, uh, so I feel like you're needing some strength for this passionate beginning, but you have somebody here kind of looking over like really like but the look on her face is like really huh so <laughs> yeah, uh, don't, this don't, is, this don't is bring those uh, because look, hot look, next look at this because <laughs> someone's there's a new passionate beginning and somebody needing strength that's leo's card right but you have you have an x here or a taurus virgo capricorn doesn't matter i'm feeling like it could be an ex or an ex-wife that's very jealous this person's very jealous so she's looking over over at the strength of this new passionate beginning under the bottom of the deck. There's something hidden. Oh, oh, some magic's being done. OK. These two cards under the bottom of the deck. OK, so you have secrets and magic, magic secrets or magic illusions. OK, so this person's jealousy. OK. Wow. OK, let me get some clarity here. I feel like you have somebody doing doing some, you know, um, trickery here um 
and mm -hmm. because of their jealousy this could be evil eye you know what uh, somebody wants to cast the evil eye on you because they're jealous of you but this new passionate beginning ooh, 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 ooh. someone's obsessed with seeing something from a different perspective that's why that's why king of pentacles you have a true match on the board you had you know could he be stepping out possibly because this is a married couple here but i feel like you know, or that i feel like i'm getting the strong impression that was an x uh but the strength to walk away uh from their two of cups um uh, to move forward um because it was a missed opportunity that they feel very anxious about so i feel like they may have walked away from from the leo you don't say. And took a leap of faith, but it caused them a lot of discontent and, and and anxiety because of this person doing magic or this ex. I want to clarify this ex. This ex is trying to master their emotions. Um, and, and I feel like whatever this seven of cups is, um, they're daydreaming about their happiness, but there's some jealousy here. They want to offer their love. They want to they want to rush towards this person. And I feel like there's a truth going to be spoken about their look, look at this. You can't make this up, okay? There's magic being done, right? Okay. So you have somebody rushing in a harsh truth, a truth being spoken. I almost feel like a fight. Why? Because somebody's trying to block somebody's new beginning. You don't say. Trying to block somebody from having this new beginning. Why? Because they're jealous and they want to rush towards this person and offer their cup. They want to rush in. They want to rush out. They're they're very. There's a lot of jealousy there. You don't say. There's a lot of jealousy there, huh? There is. You know. Interesting. Some negative people in this world. Negative Nance. Yeah, you That's, got to bind those. You got to bind those people. You got to bind them. All right. <laughs> Nine of Cups. So a wish fulfillment. Um, yeah. Also, sometimes, you know, I see this Nine of Cups and I just want to think about, I think about people drinking a lot because that's kind of what he looks like. But, um, all you know, also getting a wish, finding your happiness in healing. Because you heal, you're going to find your happiness. And that's when, yeah, look at that. Because you heal, you're going to find your happiness. Three of Cups isn't always about a relationship. Three of Cups is celebration and your friends. Um, so you're going to get a wish granted because you're, do, you're healing and finding your happiness, right? That's pretty good. Um, somebody did you dirty, though. Look at that. Got the Seven of Swords. And it could have been both of you. Could have been one of you. Doesn't matter. Makes no difference. You're going to get a second chance, okay? You're going to heal this this emotional beginning. So I feel like if this is if this is someone you don't know coming in, that's... I mean, it could be, but I also, I mean, I just feel like there is a person here that's coming towards you that wants to renew this, this emotional beginning. Like what they want, they want to do over because they're, your, they're your soulmate. They're your soulmate with the four of wands. But, um, I almost feel like this hesitation. I don't know why I, maybe it's this seven of swords, but I just feel like me, you me. have some, yeah, see, I feel like. You're finding out secrets with the high priestess card of Pisces doesn't have to be, but I feel like you are, have found out some truths or you have some inner knowings of things. And that's kind of what's making you skeptical, but this is your person. Gosh, guys, with the four of wands and the six of cups, this is your person. And the ace of cups, this is your person, whoever, whoever this is that did you dirty that you had to heal from. It's your person. Yeah, they've been they've been doing the work too, putting the work in, seeing things differently. Again, could be a Pisces, um, kind of stopped, like they kind of almost stagnant, but not really because it served a purpose. Trying to see things from a different view, knowing that they need to apologize. To a there queen you of are. Wands. There you there, are. There we, there we are. Oh, bottom of the deck. Yeah, soulmate, and this is your person. The hap holy big testicles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I should say the holy balls or not. <laughs> holy hot testicles! All right, lovers <gasps> and the sun oh. and the star, guys. If this does not motivate you to um, have a very 
um, truthful, candid, heartfelt discussion and literally bear everything. Just break it down and become completely vulnerable. Get that um, wish. The, this is your this is your person having the star and the sun together is i mean oh my gosh like yeah. you're getting a wish and we'll have complete fulfillment happiness whatever you i mean whatever and also guys release your expectations if you say i want this 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 and this that's that may not be what you get you're going to get what you're supposed to get but the sun and the star that's i mean i don't know anybody that wouldn't take that I mean, yeah, I agree with you 100% on I'm that. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on for Virgo. What is going on for Virgo, please? Somebody's working on their anxiety about uh, about um uh, being with somebody uh, missing. This is wow. Okay, so somebody's trying to work on their anxiety. They're stressing out, working, trying to work on their subs because of a new beginning in love. They're, I feel like they're stressed out about a, starting something new. So working on their anxieties to start something new, but they had some regrets. That's something they've regretted. They've regretted something. They knew somebody was their person. They want a new passionate beginning for a long time. They've wanted a new passionate beginning for a long time to reconcile to reconcile i'm feeling that see I, I felt like that but they're kind of guarded and defensive now they're guarded and defensive because they ended something and they've it had have had anxiety for a long time because they need to apologize so this is going to transform this apology or something ended so there could have been a third party new passionate beginning that ended or this could be somebody working on their anxiety they want to reconcile and have a new beginning in love. There you are, Virgo. There you are. This is you. You're wanting to work on this. You want to, uh, um, I feel like you want to reconcile and have a new beginning in love. I feel like, though, you're having some regrets and you're kind of guarded and defensive because there's a tower moment there for you. I, I feel like you feel like you feel like the regrets that you have. Now you're looking back and you're, I, I feel like this is almost like you putting yourself in this. You have that one wand in your hand, right? But I feel like maybe you you regret whatever this is behind you because it's caused you a tower moment. Now, I feel like you really do want to reconcile with somebody, but I feel like you're regretting something that you've done. You could have had multiple partners here. I feel like, um, yeah, there was deception in a relationship, okay? Now you've got to, you you also could be drinking a little bit, too much but this is you mastering your emotions feeling stuck and bound needing to understand something you needed to understand that this person was your empress now this reading has been the same reading for you for months i don't know why this is the same thing and the reason i feel like it keeps repeating itself is there's somebody out there that hasn't got the molasses out of their backside yeah so yep. they haven't they haven't learned the lesson yet. They haven't they haven't gone and done what they're being divinely guided to do. Okay? Look. Make that decision. Choose what you're supposed to choose. Now you got to be strategic about this plan. You got to make a plan to do what you want to do to have that happiness with somebody from your past because you understand something from a different you're looking back at the mistakes. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You're manifesting healing, some kind of betrayal. I mean, it's a very cut and dry. This is right here. You're manifesting healing for some kind of betrayal with a queen of cups. So right there. That says it all for you, Virgo. Now, it could go the other way around, guys. I get people saying, well, you know, you have it backwards. No, I don't have it backwards. I'm reading, reading the energy of the cards. If you are the other person and you're the one doing this, then you know who you are in this. Take it how it resonates for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something that people say all the time. Well, that wasn't me. Yeah. That wasn't me. Well, okay, then. 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do I, for you. <laughs> Dan, I do need to do. We probably should do a how to understand tarot. Um, but you know that that'll come. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I also think that the longer people, you know, the the longer people stay tuned in or watch for themselves and for their person, they start to understand how the dynamic is. But it is it can be a lot. I mean, there's 78 cards here, and every single one of them can be seen totally different in a million different ways. It's just the energy and how it, and how it comes into play. But so we do have a two of cups situation. So we have we have a, I mean. I want to say soulmate right off the bat. You have somebody that's your soulmate um, that you want to have a new beginning with. And th it's not, almost like this time you want to have a real new beginning. You want to have an offer that is not just, hey, I'll love you forever, but I will be your rock. I'm going to stay. We will succeed. You know, hashtag power couple. That's that's what you want from this two of cups. And that's the energy that's available to you. I mean, that wouldn't come out if it wasn't. Yeah, you want the ten of cups with this person. Uh, I'll come yeah. over and dog sit your dog. Um, I, I mean, you're going to get it. It's like you have every opportunity to, to come to you with this, but you have to make a choice. Make that, you have to make that choice. You have to do it. You have to dive in because you're not speaking to somebody. That's exactly what the problem is. I think we might be psychic. I'm Hurry. just saying. I'm Call just saying. Paper. Call the newspaper. We got it. But here comes your tower moment. Here There's that tower. tower. <laughs> yeah. You. You. Yes. Yes. And clarity. Now Here's the reason the you have this. Yeah. The the reason you have this tower with this ace of swords. This ace of swords is going to come in literally and cut it down. That's why this is going to fall, right? Because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. If one sword can break it down. It, it it doesn't belong to you. It's not meant for you. It has to it has to come down so that you can get what you have coming to you. Which guys, the universe always wants good for us, even if we do somebody dirty. If we ask for forgiveness and we focus on that forgiveness and we we you know you do the work, the energy is there for you no matter what. You've got two two opportunities of new beginnings, right? Ending a cycle, completing something, and yeah. starting something new, right? But the but you still got to make a decision. Well, the universe is going to push you into a decision. You can stay there all day, sit on your couch and eat fudge pops with your horse blinders on, but the universe is coming. They're coming for you, especially with the tower, the priestess, and the world. The nine of coin. You, yeah. I think that's you. Single. Yeah. But, you know, you're it. willing, yeah, you're you're willing to work on it, and, and I think so are they. Um working on the toxicity from the past is what I think and making a choice. So we've got, we have, we have two. I thought I had another one. This isn't at all like blackjack. I'm so confused. Oh yeah. See two, two and, and a choice. So you do have to make a choice regarding a soulmate. What's on the bottom of the deck, a new beginning after some mind games. There's a lot of passion here though. There's that flaming hot, I know. Now, every time we'll picture somebody's somebody's fingers all stained <laughs> coming at me. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Oh, my God. All right, I can't okay. take it sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's oh Lord. Okay, so you have this Ace of Wands. Here they are. They're coming for you. Because they yeah. know they that they realize they understand they spent some time Virgo's on their, energy on right their there. own yes thinking about things and and now they're coming to deliver a message um, about a long term committed relationship which is what they want from you so you got the ten of cups and the ten of coins right you guys have been stuck in this energy for a long time this painful energy from this toxicity but there this is your soulmate could be a queen of wands could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius but they're manifesting, and you also are manifesting, whether you realize it or not, some healing so that you can have um, have them come in and communicate passionately that, that they want to be with you, that they're you're their choice. And this is the universal energy also. So whatever you're doing to not face this decision, okay, you can keep doing it, but it's kind of like if you're sitting at home watching Netflix, 
the universe is going to catch your house on fire, so you have to get up. You have to deal with it. Well, you know, Virgos are the ones that overthink. They think and yes. think and think. They're th they're yes. very much thinkers. They overthink it. Yes, so, and then once they've made a decision, they have to think about that too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that could be problematic. So okay, so let's get into Libra. What's Libra? What's Libra need to know? What oh, does Libra. Libra what does Libra need to know here? I know I've shuffled this a thousand times, so let's get into this, Libra. What what does what does Libra need to know, please? What snacks is Libra bringing into the party? Oh, I feel like somebody's very guarded and defensive. Um someone, okay, this okay. You have someone who this is the page of wands. The page of wands can be I feel like this is going to be passionate communication uh, with a queen of coin. This could be an ex, could be a wife. Somebody wants to heal and have a new beginning in love, but I feel like there's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people involved here. Okay, so that that passionate communication in a relationship, some fighting in the relationship. Um, queen of Pentacles is going to end so something new can begin to heal uh, with the king of wands. So you may be dealing with a king of wands, an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Um, Ten of cups. There's a, okay, there's a lot of love in this family situation. There is a lot of love here. OK, but I feel like there's somebody that needs to heal something because of a lot of jealousy or understanding something that's causing. Maybe there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of family involved. A lot of people are just putting their two cents in where that doesn't belong. And you need to take the time to understand that from a different perspective to heal a situation with this person. I feel like that's what this is. The communication to heal a situation, to fix a problem in a relationship. But you got to get, you can't have 25 people in your marital bed. It's like. No. I mean, I, you can. Well. And if you do, you could invite me. <laughs> I well, will hold the camera. <laughs> you know, I feel like somebody, somebody feels at a loss at a loss here not necessarily ghosted but they feel like at a loss and there's a, there's a harsh truth being spoken because somebody is it's a truthful there's like somebody's watching somebody's watching it's causing anxiety somebody's waiting because i feel like they're hiding something they're hiding whatever this is that they're anxious about out in the cold they feel at a loss this may be a financial loss as well Someone's anxious because they may be hiding that there's a financial loss here and other people know about it and you understand this from a, some clarity, but I feel like there's a lot of love in this family situation, but somebody, there's a harsh truth being spoken. And for some reason, I'm picking up on the energy of somebody might be tell, not telling you the truth about overspending or they may have done something financially that that isn't going to be kosher for you. You're not going to be happy about it. Um, and I feel like this is somebody you could have been in something long term with. So whether you're married or you've just been together for a long time, I feel like somebody may have done something with money that that you're not going to be happy about. They're hiding it. They're hiding that they've overspent. Or gambled or something. I do remember sneaking shoes in in my kids' backpacks. <laughs> I'd buy shoes and put them in my kids' backpacks. That's hilarious. <laughs> Not even lying. <laughs> and now, now I live by myself. I do whatever the heck I want. It's great. Okay. Page I of wands. I started off with that card. Yes, you did. Page of wands. So there is going to be some communication. Okay. Um, be it passionate one way or the other. Um, oh, you could be, you could be the emperor. Or it could be the emperor that wants to communicate. Let's see. About mind games. Playing mind games. You know, sometimes the emperor in a low vibration, the emperor always wins anyway because he's the emperor. That's what he does. Um, but an emperor in a low vibration, when it's not, when it's someone who hasn't fulfilled um, all of this energy correctly, like, and they're not using it, they're using their, their, their talents for 
evil and not good. But they wanted to win. This emperor wanted to win at all costs. And he's fixing to communicate about it. Yeah, here he comes. Communication. Eight of Wands. So you're, this emperor energy could be you, could be your person. Doesn't matter. Um, Page of Wands, King of Swords. So he... Nobody, you guys aren't speaking right now, I think. I think you guys aren't speaking. And I think that both of you potentially could have been playing mind games, especially when we have this King of Swords. So this could be you, this could be your person, but you do need to make a choice. You you have some, you have some conversations coming in and you've got to talk about some things. Um, and you have, you need to heal from the, whatever that's been done to you or done whatever because you've been holding on to um the toxicity of this for too long okay bottom of the deck yeah you're moving forward this person's coming in um judgment sometimes can be the card of reconciliation but it's also that card of of the universe um pulling you towards the right way it's like they're making you revisit your choices because maybe you made some wrong ones and they're coming in and calling the shots now. And there's nothing you can do about that. Um, but you, why would you want to? Cause you have a new passionate beginning in a relationship and your ships will come in and they're coming in hot. They're coming in hot. So this energy that you've been stuck in for a while regarding this person, you have to just face your fears, speak your truth, allow that, allow your person to speak their truth. And if you guys want to move forward, which is up to you, you have to forgive one another and move on because you can't can't carry toxic energy with you from the past and expect your future to reflect anything different. Very true. I mean, you cannot, you got to drop that bag off at the bus station and leave it there. The yep. homeless guy might need what's in it, but you don't need it. <laughs> you don't need it. Just you're, you've overcome that bag. So, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yep, so let's yep. see what Scorpio's got to say. What does Scorpio need to know? I was thinking about a Scorpio today just a little while ago. I was driving through road construction and thinking about Empress. a Scorpio. Empress, you're looking at the past mistakes with somebody from your past, wanting a new passionate beginning. I feel like you may be holding... Um, so you want equal give and take, and you want a victory here in a relationship but you have some regrets for playing mind games. You're regretting the mind games. You want to heal. You want to rush in. You're manifesting communication in a family situation to move this forward, but it's causing you a tower moment because you still have to get from rough waters to calm waters. So I feel like this is all you, Scorpio. I feel like you are coming to terms with something from your past. You're missing somebody. You want, you're want you wanting equal give and take. You want this to be fixed. You're regretting something that you've done. Now, I don't feel like this is not a cheating card. This could be playing mind games, trying to win. But you want to heal and rush towards somebody, manifesting communication in this family situation to move it forward and, and that tower moment. There's a tower moment. It's not a bad tower moment. It's a good tower moment moment because you could be moving and traveling. This could be you moving and traveling here. So you may be getting in your car to move and move on, you know, so moving down the road somewhere. So maybe you're out to find this person. I feel like this I was just I was just thinking about people doing drive bys. Yeah, you're hunting down uh, this person. That's what I feel like. You're moving in. You're saying, "I no, I want this. I want to go and 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 get what I want." So, you're going for it, Scorpio. Later on, you go, "Oh my god, I'm such a creeper." Okay. <laughs> All right, six of cups. So we have a we have a soulmate relationship. Could involve kids, you know, a marriage and kids. But um, regardless, this person, um, you have a soul tie to this person. It, you've been around this person in other lifetimes. Okay. Options, dreaming, illusion. What do we got here? King of Swords. So I feel like. I don't feel like this is bad. I feel like the seven of cups, I feel like you guys could have had, you know, what's that song? I don't even know. Are we allowed to say the names of songs? I don't know. Um, King of swords um, was very strategic with his decisions 
regarding happiness and options. Um, yeah, three of swords. Um, and he was also what was he hi what was he hiding in person that he had to travel to? And it's been kind of a burden. He's only got he's like standing on one leg. So here he comes in as the Knight of Cups, wanting to communicate, um, gather strength, and offer an apology. So th this I think this may be options, but I also think that when you guys are on track. You guys will have whatever you can have, whatever you want. But there's a three of swords here. This is a third party um, that he passionately communicates with or did. And now he's coming in to say, sorry. See, now he's now he's like, I should have made all these mistakes. He says, I'm getting on my seahorse. I, lo I love this. I love this. Thing. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> getting, it's on his, good. getting on his seahorse. It is. It is really good. Gathering his strength to make an, ap to have, make an apology, to speak the truth. To cut through all the BS, to break it all down, to, to literally cut through anything that doesn't need to be there, and finally speak the truth about whatever has gone on, okay? The the universe is pushing him forward to do this, and they're pushing it. They're, it's for a reason. You may not know the reason. I mean, with this moon card, it, it all could be hidden to you, both of you, but there's a reason, okay? You, got, you both are going to be faced with having to deal with your shadow side, the darkness in you. We all have it, that yin and yang, right? Yes. Um, so this could have been this you may very well walk away from this from this offer. That's up to you. Or you, you both may to decide may decide to leave all this in the past and go towards that two of cups so that you can manifest a relationship. Um <laughs> and your ships will come in. It's not a pirate ship. Yeah, the universe pro providing justice. There you are, bottom of the deck. So, yeah, somebody's got to come in and apologize. But you both have to face the darkness in you, or it's not going to work. Well, that's a true statement. That mm, is yeah. definitely a true statement. Yep, you'll just keep having the same relationship in different bodies. And listen, I get it. We all want to look at everybody's body. <laughs> but... Doing it over and doing it over and doing it over. Yes. No bueno. Yes. Yes. You have to repeat those cycles. Those cycles sometimes are painful and they you don't want to repeat them. But till you learn the mistakes and learn the karma or you get past the karma, you're going to continue yeah. to yeah, go you will. through those lessons. Yes. And people don't so, understand that. I mean. Got to repeat oh. it till you learn it, right? Yeah. So, and it gets hairier every time. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah, it's like how many times you've got to stick your hand in the fire before you realize it's hot. You're going to get burned. So that's the problem. You have to you have to overcome those things and recognize maybe. it for what it is. So, yeah, OK, I'm so trying to manifest my 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 magical moment from. Famous wizard. That travels by fireplace. You're too funny. <laughs> OK, so let's go with Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know, please? Okay, so ooh, 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 so you may try to reconcile with somebody from the past. I know a lot of people go, I don't want nobody from the past now. You wouldn't be watching tarot if you didn't want somebody from the past. Well, not necessarily. Some people want to see if there's new love coming in, but you know, um, most of the time it's a come back around because you mm -hmm. haven't figured out the process to reconcile and offer their love. Manifesting, what are they manifesting? They're manifesting patience. So this person's being more than patient about trying to figure out what he needs to do, possibly to fix a family situation, you know, where there's kids involved or there could be, um, you know, sometimes you're with the right person at the wrong time, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, sometimes it's not time for you two to go through what you need to go through to make it bountiful is what I feel like because this person's watching and they want that new beginning in love but they're out in the cold this person is somebody you're not with and they're they're really doing that soul searching they're getting it together they want to rush in they want to I feel like have that communication rush towards you with that truth okay because they feel like empress energy victory you know there's going to be a victory here you're going to have that new beginning um 
after somebody has, you know, really paid attention and, and I feel like while somebody was out in the cold, they really understood that you were there. You were there everything. Okay. So I feel like this person realizes that you're the mother, you're the wife, you're the soulmate, you're the you're the deepest the part of them, right? But out in the cold, they're not going to understand that until they see the love when they're out in the cold because they get clarity. That's what I'm seeing here. Interesting. All right, Sagittarius. Oh, Emperor energy right out the gate. Flew right out. So we've got the Emperor and the Queen of Coins. Something is going on here. I don't know what it is, but this Queen of Coins, could be you, could be your person, doesn't matter, is is hesitant about, about this Emperor energy. Like, she's looking at it like, mm, I don't know. You screwed me over before. I don't know. I've got flowers and a great rack, and I don't need you. I don't need your pain. I don't need your third-party situations. Um... Yeah, you better get yourself straight. You better see this from a different perspective because I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not I'm not going to fight and fight and fight with you over it, right? Um, Ace of Cups. So there is the opportunity for a new beginning should you choose to do so. Everyone has free will in every single one of these readings. Um, but in order to do that, you're in order to forgive this Three of Swords, this Ace of Cups, you have to be your own Ace of Cups first. You have to have the biggest cup of love in the deck for yourself first, right? So that means releasing that and discussing, emo you know, emotional communication, messages, talking, moving forward past the toxicity, past the things that were that were not okay, past the things that hurt you, right? And really um, deciding and what you want to, and uh, yeah, under understanding it and wanting to kind of reevaluate where you want to invest like just kind of taking here you go this is somebody coming in or you you moving towards them but i feel like uh i feel like this knight of cups and i know that this is not conventional but it's just how i'm feeling about it i feel like the emperor is this knight of cups and she's looking at him like get your story straight tell me the truth because i'm not going anywhere near you i don't need to i i got my own everything i can take care of myself if you're playing mind games, if you've got a third person, third person, if you've got anything at all that's going to take up more of your time than than me, I don't. I'm not trying to have anything with you. So see this from their perspective because here they come, you know, offering happiness. You know, this is your person. Um, I feel like there's been a lot go on between you. Mm, mm hmm. I think this is you. Three empress, yeah. I really do. But I mean, I just can't get over the way she's looking at that emperor. I mean, she's like, listen, buddy, I don't care who you think you are or what kind of a hat you have on. I don't need you. <laughs> I don't need you. <laughs> yeah. Main, like holding your position with this seven of wands, holding yes. your position um, and just waiting for what belongs to you to to show up. Right. Walking away from things that no longer serve you. So you may very well walk away from this person. Um, I don't feel like that's going to be okay for long because you're going to miss them. And you're going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and making about making a decision. Here you are wanting a new beginning. So everything that uh, happens, happens exactly the way it's supposed to. Um, us fire signs tend to sort of just jump at the first you know, we're we're not super stable. <laughs> but I do think that Sagittarius is a little bit different. So just let it play out, figure out how you want to deal with it and move forward. Okay, so let's get into Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know, please? What does Capricorn need to know? Okay, so you may be a little guarded and defensive. Um, healing about healing something long term and committed. But there will be communication here. You have the eight of wands behind you and the eight of wands over here. But you got that one wand in your hand. And so you're kind of, I, I feel like you're you're a little wounded, but I feel like you're also a little guarded, okay? Um, it could have had been maybe because of a third party, but I feel like you've got a plan to win here to, to try to heal this. 
to have a new beginning in this something long term and committed. So like a, a, like a do over, but but be patient. Do so be patient here. Be patient. I feel like there's going to be happiness. So you you are making the decision to have your happiness here, um, and you've manifested this. Um, Somebody may have saw betrayal and moved on, being divinely guided to to get it together. So, okay, so over here I was saying that there could have been, you could have been guarding a third party. You could have been guarded about a third party. But you feel like you want to heal a relationship. There's going to be communication. Somebody's going to have a plan to win, to have that new beginning. And they're being patient. Their happiness, they've decided they want to be happy. Um, they've manifested that. But I feel like with this betrayal, somebody's watching somebody move on and being divinely guided to master their emotions, trying to get it together, trying to, you know, but they can't get it out of their head. It's causing them a tower moment out in the cold. Um, they want their wish fulfillment. So you're manifesting your happiness. You got to make a decision. You may see somebody trying to move on because of a deception with a third party. Hmm. So that's what I've got for you, Capricorn. Ooh. All right, Capricorn. Page of Wands. So somebody wants to passionately communicate um, about a new beginning. A Wow, Page of Cups. You guys are sexting. That's what you're doing. I don't care what anybody says. The Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. You're sexting. <sighs> you sexting and with I feel, wife? <laughs> I no, no. I feel like I feel like um, that there's is a Capricorn. possibility. Yeah, there's. A, but she may have very well found out that you were sexting because she's looking at you guys like, what the hell? You were sexting a queen of cups, weren't ya? Weren't ya? Yeah, I see you. And it ended something. Betrayal. Oh, man. Yeah, it ended your happiness with with this person who was probably your wife, right? Because you were you were moving around over here like you should, like a sneaky snake. And it and it ended your happiness. And it was a huge betrayal for the two of you in this relationship. Yeah. So now you're looking for rest, you know, something that's reciprocated, something balanced, but that's not going to work. I mean, this person wants to offer you a new beginning and that's up to you whether you take it. Um, it looks like many of you are going to walk away. Okay. This has been going on for a while, but you do have a new beginning. Um, somebody's checking. You have a king of swords looking at you, but not talking to you. And that's going to be your two of cups. That's going to be the one to hold on to. You don't see it coming, but you're going to have to make a choice. Because somebody was playing mind games, wanting to win at all costs. Uh, but you don't do that to the queen of swords. Okay, so now we have a map, guys. We have this king of swords that's watching you. That's making a plan not speaking to you though so this person is going to come towards you and i'm going to tell you right now if you've got this queen of swords in your reading she ain't playing i mean she's she's not she's willing to use that sword in whatever capacity she has to to create a balance so it, there's a tower moment coming um you are manifesting healing after after this this five of of or i'm sorry four of cups so but this king of swords is the true match for this queen of swords which is you um you were represented up here when you caught whomever sexting or whatnot or sending dirty pictures send a copy to me please all right Bad. Everybody likes a dirty picture. You're so bad. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm horrible right now. I don't know what's going on. I cannot get I cannot get Cheetos out of my head either. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> wait, like wait, check... wait, wait, wait. You got the Cheetos and we got the pirates. We got the pirates of the. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, I'm, dude, I'm like, 
I'm going to be like, yeah, let me check your hands. First. <laughs> Can I see your peg leg? <laughs> Why do you have orange under your fingernails? What have you been doing? <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's go with Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Aquarius. I feel like you're blocking somebody from watching you. You're blocking a third party from watching. You're very guarded and defensive. Ooh. There's strife, jealousy, and competition about somebody having a new beginning and reconciling, um, needing strength. Okay, I'm feeling like, and this is kind of cut and dry here, you are blocking somebody from watching you. A third party, you're very guarded and defensive. This person's a very jealous person, uh, but you're having a new, you're reconciling and having a new beginning. You need strength here. Your emperor energy, you want to have this, uh, queen of Pentacles. This could be a wife to you. This could be you're you're in the emperor mode, so you're coming in very taking control. This could be an ex-wife or a wife that you want to reconcile with and have justice. There's going to be emotional communication with equal give and take. You're rushing to end something so that you can start something new with a two of cups in an eleven eleven. So. Whoever you're walking away from, you're trying to block them from seeing that you've gone back to somebody from your past, I feel like. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius. Sounds like it should be a water sign, but it's not. Okay. All right. So you've got something coming and you're not you're not seeing it. Something's coming in. But I also feel like you've been doing a lot of shadow work, which I always love to see because um, and people will say, well, what is shadow work? What does that mean? It just means even if all you do is think about the things you've done and decide that, you know, how, work, work through it, even in your own brain, that's shadow work. That's trying to make yourself better. Right. You've been doing this for a long time, I think, trying to, you know, trying to make something happen. What are we trying to make happen? Justice. Could be a marriage, doesn't have to be, but you want some balance. You're 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 tired of being in the dark all the time. Yeah, you want to move forward. But there's anxiety, there's insomnia, there's worry, there's fear. Maybe that you won't get this this justice. You will, it's coming, but you worry that it won't. So you are I feel like you kind of veered off on your own path just to really think about things and connect to your higher self and your higher power. And and now they're going to sh shine the light on your path. You're going to see where to go. You're going to know what's going to happen, right? And we've got the justice right underneath the, or right on top of the hermit. So all of this time that you've been thinking about things and doing some shadow work, it's bringing balance back to your life, whether you can see it or feel it or not. Yeah, you're ending a cycle. Oh, you've got two tens. You may have ended a marriage. I hate that for you guys. Okay, you may you may have ended a marriage or you're just completing a painful cycle within your marriage. Doesn't matter. Either one is painful. Um, yeah, arguing, passionately arguing. Yeah, more arguing. So this is your this is those mean words being said with passion behind them because you're you're both real mad. Six of Swords, though, you're you're working through it. You're gonna come out the other side with a Queen of Wands, with a Queen of Wands, and on the bottom of the deck, King of Wands. So we have a couple that's gonna that's gonna get back together, I think. Empress Energy with this emotional communication because they have regret, and it's exhausting you. Yeah, it's exhausting you. You're done. You just want that ten, new beginning. Ten, ten. Yeah, three. Yeah, three ten. You want that? You want that new beginning? It's like you don't feel like there's hope, but there is. Because it's sad and lonely and forlorn as she looks, all she's got to do is go and look up and see that this chap, this church is here, chap, this chapel, whatever it is, and there's probably food and warmth and beds for her to get her get herself together. Okay, let's get into Pisces. Holy Spirit, angel Boy. spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, please? Our sweet slippery little fish. What do they need to know? Okay, so they're walking away, working on their happiness. Boy, okay. So they were having some regrets about a new beginning in love. So you're walking away and you're working on your happiness. 
Um, you're guarded and defensive about reconciling a broken heart. So you're very guarded and defensive. And I don't feel like this is you reconciling with a person, Pisces. I feel like that you are guarded because of your broken heart. So you've got those walls up. So your judgment here is that you're guarded about your, you're guarding your heart. You're guarding your heart space. Um, there's some regrets. Um, so a closing out a cycle. So you regret closing out a cycle. Um, but look what you've got coming in. Look what you've got coming towards you now. You got the Ace of Wands. You got that fiery hot Cheeto. And you got yeah. and you got the Ace of Cups. So you got love and passion coming. Okay. Um, and I feel like you're you're going to get it, but you're walking away from something to work on your wish fulfillment. Um, you may you may be having some regrets or missing someone, but I, I, I don't feel like you're very guarded about reconciling your broken heart. You don't wanna I feel like you're you're gonna take your time. You're gonna take your time before you get this ace of cups. Ace of Wands, because there's burdens here of a deception. There's a burden of deception and with the emperor energy. So there was a burden of deception with this emperor. So you're very guarded. You're coming in single and abundant. This is a soulmate. This is a twin flame. Um, here you are. Here you are. Um, you want equal give and take, and you want somebody to rush towards you, but Again, so, or you could have been, oh, no, no. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me back up here for a second. This is what you've got coming towards you, Pisces. You've got love and passion coming towards you, but you're closing out a cycle. Okay. So you're guard, you're very, there is a lot of burden about deception with this emperor. Okay. But because there's an empress here. And here I got a queen. This is you, queen of cups. You felt like you were being breadcrumbed by a player and it made you very unhappy. So <clears throat> in, in this situation, you've been breadcrumbed by a player and you're unhappy about this. And that was the burden of this deception is that this person wasn't for you. But look, you have your person. You just, you thought it was this person. Look, you thought it was this emperor. Now, you may have an emperor out there, but it's not this one. And I think I said that last week for you, too. This so isn't similar. your person. This isn't your person. But look what you've got coming in. You have a person out there. You have, you are, you are the emperor and the empress, but not with this one. You're not. I'm just mm -hmm. saying, whoever you've walked away from, keep walking. Because the more you walk is when you find what you're meant to have. Mm-hmm. Most definitely keep moving forward, working on your happiness. Oh, my Lanta. All right, Pisces. I don't know why, but I feel the need to cut the deck. Okay. So Pisces, Whew, an epiphany. You realize something. The truth is, is shown to you. Um, I love this card in this deck. It's, it's gorgeous. I think it's on the, the cover of the yes, box it is. or whatnot. I, I love it. All right. So sp speaking of truth, communicating back and forth uh, with, <laughs> with an emperor. Um, maybe you want this emperor to come. I feel like, you know, you want the truth and you you're saying, you know, if you're not bringing the truth, truth, don't be, don't be coming towards me because this emperor need the emperor shouldn't need to do work okay and the emperor shouldn't need to speak the truth because if he's if he's your true emperor he there is no untruth there's nothing that's not the truth but um if he's a player he's going to speak the truth about that right um you've worked really hard to move past this energy we have two eights okay you've moved really really hard to move past whatever this is um, you're not speaking to one another at the t at right now at all. There's um, also a lot of secrets. There's um, secrets, good and bad, because, you know, there's dark and light in everyone. So you're single. You're doing your thing, right? Holding your bird and arranging your flowers. Like, you're doing your thing. And you're doing, the, you're working on doing your thing, doing, being truthful to, to yourself. Here comes that communication. 
and judgment, a part of reconciliation. So page of cups. Oh, so sandwiched between all of this communication is the judgment card. So you're going to be getting back. Huh? Very immature energy though. It It is. It is. But I think that the reason that this judgment is here in between both is the universe is going to force them to come clean. Um, and you're going to see the truth about your emperor and what he's been working on. I do feel like he's been working on things just like you have. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be a bit of a, of a, like a tantrum. I almost feel over some things that ha needed to be said, but haven't been said because you've both been focusing on yourself and keeping to yourself. You guys are not talking to one another. You are not talking to one another. Um, and that's how it's been for a long time because of some third party heartbreak. But the wheel of fortune is, is spinning you towards your person, your six of cups, and you're going to have victory there. There you are okay. at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, here you are. See, and you know, you both have been thinking about one another. I feel like this is both of you. Um, but there was just something that this emperor has done, um, maybe held back from telling you because he knew it would hurt you. But you, this is your four of wands. Um, so you just have to take the right path and go through the door. You know, the longer you stay out in the cold, the longer you're cold and abandoned, right? You have a choice. You have a choice. You have a path. You know you have a path. You're manifesting healing and a wish. Um, and here you are, Pisces. So in the King of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign, but you don't have to be Aries, Leo, Sag. But you're a little bit defensive and guarded, but you want a new beginning because you miss your person. You miss your person. So whatever whatever's gone on with this player energy, this immature, this is like somebody acting like they're more mature than they are. Like they know they're screwing you over, but they're doing it in a in, in, a, in an adult way and it makes them feel better about it for a minute, but not you. And so they're going to come back around and try and talk to you. So it's up to you whether you want to, you know, be with them or not. But well, there you go. I feel like they're, you know, supposed to be with them, but I guess if you don't want to be. I feel boy. like they have somebody else that they need to go moving towards. I feel like that isn't their emperor. I think that's like a, like not even a false emperor. That just might not be, that may be their karmic, you know, they're thinking it's an emperor, but he's a karmic mm -hmm. because it's somebody else's person. Right. So, yeah, anyway, um, guys, if these resonate with you, please go to both of our channels, like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Say hi. Um, and let well, us know what you always, think. Yeah, we always try and read all those comments and comment back. Um, and also on um, on my channel, Lilith's Window Tarot, I think. Um, I've been I've been feeling a, a a pick a card reading, so I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that. But um, guys, give us a shout out, um, share us with your friends, click that like button. We love to do this. We want to keep doing it. So you know, keep showing up, and we'll, we'll be here every time. Hope you guys all have a great week. Absolutely. Yeah, we done. Yeah, we done.